Hey guys, I hope you are doing well today. So I have another DIY video for you today and it is a do-it-yourself giant whiteboard that you can actually put together for under $35. So you might have picked up in previous videos that we actually moved again and for the first time ever, I actually have my own office space which I'm really, really excited about. I love writing stuff down so I've always wanted a gigantic whiteboard that I can just write down all my notes, all my to-dos, and just stay organized that way. The thing I didn't realize though when I was looking up whiteboards to get for the space was how expensive whiteboards are. So because of this, I went online to see if there was a cheaper solution, and I found that a lot of people recommended going and getting these large whiteboard panels uh, from Home Depot or Lowe's, and they're a fraction of the cost of actual whiteboards that you can get um, online or at the store. I was able to find the whiteboard panel in the molding section of Home Depot, where they actually have other faux panels. For the I found was four foot by eight foot, and also I got these end caps which pretty much just go onto the edges of the board and just really polish them up. And those come in eight foot sections and I ended up getting three of them. Since it's eight feet by four feet, I would need two of the eight foot long end caps for the top and bottom and I figured the third one I can just snip in half so that can go on the side. So that's what I ended up getting. They're considered like molding or like trim so when I went there they were right next to like the wood trim or wood molding and they were like two dollars and something for each uh, eight foot section. One of the tutorials I found online suggested getting those mirror holders that you find in the bathrooms to hold this up. For me, however, we're renting and I want to avoid putting as many holes in the wall as possible. So uh, I decided to try to use Velcro command strips to get my board up. Another great thing about this is that Home Depot or Lowe's will actually cut down the whiteboard panel for you if you ask them. So if you want it to be 4x4, if you want it to be smaller or uh, a specific size, you can ask them to cut it to whatever size you want. So for less than $34, you're getting a custom size whiteboard for your office. So to make your giant whiteboard, uh, all you have to do is Put in the end caps. Personally for me, the putting on the end caps was the trickiest part. Originally I wanted to cut the end caps at a 45 degree angle so that they would line up at right angles. It wasn't long enough to actually have the two corners meet up. So what I found to be a little bit easier is to just kind of make it where um, one end cap would just start where the other one like ends. Now that doesn't look as nice because you can actually see part of the ends on the corner, but if you're just looking at the board, you really honestly can't tell. I'm not too picky about it just because this is actually just kind of my wall and no one's really gonna see it. Um, so it serves its purpose. So once you have all of your end caps on the outer edge of the board, you want to turn the board over and you're going to stick on your Velcro command strips. The Velcro command strips I love using because they're so easy to use and they are um, damage free. So once we move or when we don't want it up anymore, we just pull it off and then you pull the command strips and it comes off very cleanly. So what I ended up doing was sticking three on each side and then one on the top in the middle, one on the bottom in the middle, middle and then two in the two places that kind of feel felt like it was like missing support. So it, all in all, I had 10 command strips total on my whiteboards. And then once you have all of your command strips on your board, what I did was I went into my room and I measured out where I wanted the board to sit. Before sticking your panel onto the wall, you just peel off the other side of the Velcro command strips so that it is sticky on that side and then you bring the board in and you line it up on the wall with your previous markings and you just stick it on. Now you can see that the whiteboard panel is actually really, really flimsy, like it's bendable. So when we put it on, I honestly thought that it was going to fall. You need to add a little bit of pressure onto each adhesive for a few seconds, but once all the adhesive stuck to the wall, it actually supported really well. If you feel like it's not enough support for you, you can definitely add more command strips. And so that was 
pretty much it. Like that was a really, really easy project. You could probably do this within 30 minutes, to be honest. I'm really happy and I cannot wait to start using this board. Anyway guys, that is pretty much my quick DIY giant whiteboard for under $35. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click on that subscribe button right there so you can see more videos like this. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!